Hello guys, today we, I'm going to teach you about variables in Visual Basic. So the first thing you would do is open Visual, Visual Studio. And as you saw, if you, if you were watching my uh, last tutorial, you, uh, we were making a uh, project called um, YouTube Test. And if you, uh, if you can see here, this is the code we were writing. So anyways, today I'm going to uh, talk a little bit more about uh, variables and a little bit of, uh, about comments and things like that. So first thing, you, um, so first thing I'm going to teach you about is what integer is, what strings is, and what longs is, and all that. So what an integer is, is uh, it can store a value from, I'm not sure what it can store, uh, you can type integer dot max value. You can store, yeah, the number you can see in the tooltip. I'm not really sure how much that is, but, um, yeah, that is how much the integer can store. And a string can store, uh, like, everything. You can store numbers, you can store letters, you can store, store everything, like, special characters and all that. So you can just type dim, dim ds string, and you can, like that, you can, whatever you want, like, you can see, and for doing quotes, you need to make double quotes like that, or two double quotes. That makes two quotes, those two here. That is kind of confusing maybe, but that's how you do it. And yeah, so that is what, what a string is, a long can store a very big number uh, as long, no, equal long dot max value. So it can store that much. You can see it's very, very much, and um, I've I've never really been using long. Uh, well, I've been using long when I'm gonna get a lot of like strange numbers, a little very big numbers, and there is short, which is I've never been using short, like never. Uh, I've never I don't really know what like what's so good about it. Um, you can see that you can store at thirty. 2767 and uh, that is not too much to be honest it's pretty yeah and there's a double which can store decimals and decimals which um, is pretty good and double dot point double dot max value and it can store that much and it can store a lot of decimals and I think you can do de decimal as well. And decimals are. I've never been using a decimal actually. I don't know really what that is. Oh, that is a big value there. I've never really been using it. And I don't have, like, I've never really been thinking about it. Yeah, so, anyways, that is it. And you can, of course, you can do as uh, in, in 32. In 32 is a. Uh, integer that can store 32 bytes and um, you can see that if you 32 dot max value so that it can store that much that is that is a normal integer or no 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 wait I'm just gonna check here real quick I'm not I'm not too sure about those yeah that that, that is like a, like a um, normal integer this is like a half integer if you type 16 like that and then you can do a bigger integer which is in 64 uh, yeah it's, it represents a 64 bit signed integer then you can do unsigned unsigned signed unsigned integers as well i've never been using that uh, but um i don't know like what you do with them but yeah, that that is when you you're gonna get values from the from address like addresses and stuff. I've never been needing to use those um, variables or yeah. So yeah, that's probably it. And there is now I'm gonna teach you a little bit about comments. So the first thing um you would uh, do is type a a quote a single quote and then you type you can type whatever you want. This won't like uh, do anything to the code. You can type, you can put those wherever, wherever you want, like this. You can like there, type there. It's not not gonna do anything to the code, really. One. No, you can't type a. 
uh, I forgot to tell you that you can't if you type a a uh, letter instead of a number you uh, will get an error because integer can only store store um, numbers and not letters so if you type like that you see they don't affect the code at all and there is some there's other comments as well I will teach you, I'll teach you about uh, summaries later because those are more advanced and yeah that's probably it for this tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial guys peace